Hi, today we are going to talk about consistent hashing. Imagine you have huge amount of data which cannot be stored on a single machine. You want to distribute the data across many servers. So consistent hashing is a technique to help you distribute that data across machines effectively. Lot of DBs like Cassandra DB and DynamoDB use this technique to distribute data effectively across many servers. Let us understand this with the diagram. You have a lot of data and you have a lot of servers. This data size is so big that you cannot store it on a single machine. So you want to distribute it over a lot of servers. So consistent hashing helps you do that. However, it is not that straightforward. When you think about distributing data, first thing that comes up in our mind is hashing. So you can say that, okay, I will use hashing to distribute the data across different servers. Let us understand this with an example. So you have a lot of documents and you have a lot of servers. In hashing, you get a hash function. You will pass the key of the document or the data which you want to store on any server to the hash function. And then that hash function will generate a number and you will find out more of that number and based on the output, you will assign it to a, one of the server. Let us take some data. Suppose the ID of a document is 30. You pass it through a hash function and hash function generates a number called 41. Since we have four servers, we'll do mode of four. Mode of four will result into output as one. That means our blue document will be stored on server one. Similarly, you'll find a place for uh, orange document. You'll find a place for yellow document and you'll find a place for green document. Now the reading also happens in a similar way. So you will pass the key to the hash function. Hash function will generate value. In this case, again, it will be 41. Then you will do a mode of four. And again, it will tell you the document is stored on server one. So user will get the document from server one. But this has a problem. Imagine server three goes down. Our logic to distribute data is very much dependent on number of servers that we have. Here we have four servers. So that's why we're doing mode of four. Now, once the server has gone down, we are left with three servers. So we have to change the mode logic to three. Now, let us see what happens to the same document, which was earlier being stored in server one. So we'll pass the ID of the document to the hash function which will generate 41 as value. Then when we find mod of three, it will generate output as two. This time hashing is asking us to send the blue document to server two. This means anytime you add a new server to store the data or you, your one of your server goes down or you take out one of the servers, there is a whole lot of redistribution of data across servers that has to be done. This is a very problematic situation because in distributed systems, one or other server keeps on going down or to increase the capacity of system, you will keep on adding new servers to horizontally scale it. So if you have to redistribute the data every time any server is removed or added, this is going to be a huge overhead. So consistent hashing helps you solve this problem. So the basic idea is our distribution logic using hashing is dependent on number of nodes. Idea is that we should remove the dependency on number of nodes. The distribution logic should be independent from how many nodes are there uh, in our system. Let us see how it is done. You have a hash function and hash function will have a range. That means there will be a range of values that it can generate. So assume in this case, it can generate values from one to n. Now assume all of these range values can be represented over a circle. So every point on the circle uh, represent a value which hash function can generate as an output. Now let us implement this concept. Now let us see how it is helping us. So you have four servers. Each server has an ID. So you pass the ID of the server through the hash function. 
it will generate a number and whatever number is generated by hash function we will put that number on our circle so assume server 0 ids is passed through hash function it generates some value and this is where that value is sitting so we will assign that location to server 0 similarly to server 1 we will assign a location on the circle similarly to server 3 also we will assign a location and similarly to server 4 also we will assign a location on the circle now we want to store a document or we want to store some data using the same technique so we will pass the id of the data to hash function it will generate a value assume that that value is represented on circle by this point where i am showing the blue document so once the location is signed to data we move clockwise and whichever server location is the first location the data will be stored on that server so in this case blue document will be stored on server 0 similarly the orange document will pass the id of the orange document through hash function it will generate a value suppose that value is represented by this point on the circle will move clockwise and that means this orange document will be stored on server 3 now imagine a situation where server 0 goes down if this server 0 goes down the blue document will be assigned to server 1 so if you can notice we did not have to redistribute all of the data across all the server so since only server 0 went down only server 0's data is reassigned to the next server which is server 1 so only the blue document is getting reassigned to server 1 we are not touching any other data sitting on any other server this is the advantage of consistent hashing so whenever any new server is added or any new server is removed from the set of servers only single servers data is moved from one machine to other machine we don't need to redistribute whole of data that's the advantage of consistent hashing now same thing happen if a new server is added suppose we are adding server 5 earlier orange document was assigned to server 3 now that orange document will be assigned to server 5 so whenever you are adding or removing the machines you don't need to redistribute whole of your data let us see some of the use cases of consistent hashing consistent hashing is used considerably in distributed dbs specifically cassandra and uh, dino db uses consistent hashing Consistent hashing is also used for web session management. If there are many servers to which a user can make connection, consistent hashing is used to decide that user should make connection to server A or server B or server C, to which server the user should be assigned. Consistent hashing is also used by peer-to-peer -peer network. Like if you are using torrent, it decides that the file should be residing on which server and which server will serve the client. So all those things, consistent hashing is used. I hope it was very useful. Please click the like button and share the video.